Hey, this is David B69, and welcome to MLB The Show 22 Franchise Mode. Um, we are playing today, the uh, Saturday, July 9th, and uh, yeah, we lost Harper. He went down with an injury during the last game, and uh, yeah, let's uh, check out what the injury is. And he is out with a strained bicep. He's out one to six days. I mean, it's, it's just hard to say how long he's going to be out. Um, I was thinking about moving him to disabled list, but I didn't. But I did make some changes um, because I wasn't happy. So what I did was, um, just going to do the Phillies. What I did was I brought Munoz up from AAA, um, and basically I, I basically outrated uh, Toffee because he was on my 40-man roster and I sent Camargo down to AAA because he wasn't performing well. Um, so what I did was that and I had to change the lineups as well um, because when your number three hitter, hole hitter is out on the disabled list, it's going to change some things. So basically what I do is I have Real Muto playing DH um, I just figured it's just going to be a short period of time. So if I have him playing DH, then I still have, I can basically save his health a little bit and keep his back going. And then I have Stubbs and stuff playing catcher. And I think that will be, we're in good shape for that. And it's the same thing with left-hander. Um, we'll have him DH. And it's like if we need to change anything because somebody's tired, we'll... We'll basically do that on the fly, but it shouldn't really be that big of a deal. So, ooh, here we go. We have a uh, a trade. Rogers uh, closer is going to Toronto from Minnesota, and Minnesota is getting a 21-year-old Geraldo, third baseman, Dallas, a starting pitcher. He's 21 years old. And Martinez, a shortstop who's 20 years old. That's uh, an interesting trade. So basically, Toronto's trying to build themselves up. And, uh, you yeah, know, it doesn't really matter. We, we, play, we play Toronto next week, but... Overall, I don't know how much that actually affects us. Suarez, he's not fully thing, but and ah, everybody's not completely rested, which is kind of a bummer. But um, what I can do is let's put. Uh, I'll have Roma to play first base. He has a little bit more energy. And then I can just swap it the next game. <clears throat> and that's what we'll do. Maybe it just makes sense. So let's get playing. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. We've got a perfect day for baseball. It's the Philadelphia Phillies, the St. Louis Cardinals. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Chris, one of the elite power bats Ladies in the game gentlemen. featured in the lineup Yo, today. He St. is a must-see at bat. Yeah, Boog, it's like he's playing pepper with the outfield fence. He lives in the gaps and can hit the ball over the fence as well. Just puts on a show, an offensive display when he steps in the batter's box. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So just about set now on the hill here today, Jack Flaherty. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with yeah, when it seems oh, like oh, there's more pressure, the right field, he's more calm Kyle. and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough hit. situations and get his team back in the dugout. The wind of the pitch. Fought off foul. Cut 
on and missed. Struck him out. And that's the first down. The designated hitter. Reese. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Hoskins pushes it foul. Nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that part and get on the inside part of the plate as well. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Next pitch is outside. And down on strikes. And there's two away. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Nick Castellanos takes a ball here as he stands in now. Swing and a miss, strike one. It's looking pretty sharp to start the ball game. He's got that good fastball working early. Here's a one-two. Next offering misses down and away. Kicks and fires. Stays alive. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Throw that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. And now it is JT Real Muto. First pitch, not close. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So a good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. Castellanos stands at second with two gone. Next offering misses, and the count's even at two. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Man on second, two down. And that chance handled. The throw to first, and Real Muto is out. And that is that. One left for Philadelphia. Now the Cardinals will see what they can do. There's no score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Bottom of the first, and on the hill in this one, Ranger Suarez. Well, he's putting together a really nice season on the mound, ERA in the low threes. Very respectable when you consider guys are looking to do damage. They're not trying to just walk and hit singles. They're trying to hit homers and draw walks and score runs. So when you have a guy that can limit the other team from scoring more than a few runs, that's really tough to beat game in and game out. Bottom of the first, and stepping in for the Cardinals, Tommy Edmond. Bounce to the right. Fletcher collects it. And they get Edmund for the out. Not shortstop. Edmundo. And up next for St. Louis, Edmundo Sosa. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Kelly left that change up up. Got away with one there. And he'll take it, but doesn't want to make that mistake again. The pitch. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. So a man aboard now with one away. 
to second, but way too late. Safe there. Now it's Goldschmidt up the to the plate, baseman. looking for better Ball. results than last night. Goldsmith. He went 0 for 4. The pitch. And a foul ball. Three. Got him. Now two away. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with the go-ahead run in scoring position. Here's Tyler O'Neill. That one's in there, 0-1. Runner at second, two down. O'Neill checks his swing. Now it appeal to first. And yes, he offered at it. So one left for the Cardinals, scoreless after one. Welcome back. Top of the second. Here's the shortstop at the play. Bryson stop. The wind and the pitch. And that one fouled off. Next offering is down low. That's big right there, being able to check your swing. Think about the count swing. Instead of 0-2, he's sitting 1-1 against a really good arm. Next offering down in the dirt. Right-hander kicks deals. Fouls one off, two and two. If I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. This one popped up. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. That is it. One away. The second baseman, David Fletcher. That one fouled off. And the righty deals. High fly ball out to center field. Baez on his way over. Makes a nice grab and a full sprint. And there's two down. Two outs, bases empty. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Jamer Candelario. Look out! And it hit him. Batting eight. The catcher, Garrett. Here's the speedy catcher, Garrett Stubbs. And look out. That one gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. That pitch right there didn't even sniff the zone. He was all out of whack on that delivery. So first and second with two outs. And now the center fielder, Mickey Moniak. Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Edmund picks it up, gets it to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. Phillies leave a couple. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here we go. Back Four here at Bush Stadium. Up. Here's Nolan Arenado. Nolan. And he deals. And that's through there for a strike. And a pitch. That's ripped. Base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Batting fifth. The designated hitter. That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And... These are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. And there's a fly ball deep right field, and it slams off the bottom of the wall. Throw comes in, runner stopped, second and third, nobody out. Back-to-back -back base hits, got a good pitch to drive, stayed short with his bat path to the ball and caught it out front, and he stayed long in his follow-through. That's how you split the gap, and that's pretty much a double every time. Connor Capel takes a strike there as he stands at the plate now. 
hard ground ball base now. One run is in. Runner stops at third, and they're at the corners with nobody out. So he gets two milestones with that hit, his first big league knock, and he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat, and it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. Batting and in. stepping up to the, the dish is Yadier Molina. Yadier. Next Molina. offering is down low. And that's ball one. Gregorius on third. Capel at first with no outs. That's a base hit as a run scores. Throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Batting now nine. up for St. Louis, for Joshua Baez. Joshua. Baez. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. First and second here, no outs. Swing and a ball hammered left field way back there turning looking and that one is gone Joshua Baez with his first major league home run a special moment in his young career and who knows maybe that will open the floodgates for him yeah getting that out of the way can be a big confidence booster it feels like a huge weight has just been taken off your back you can go up there with a lot less pressure on you now, and I wouldn't be surprised if he gets hot for a little while. What do you remember about your first career homer, Chris? Well, I remember it was off of Omar Olivares, and, you know, being there in Los Angeles against the Angels, just a tremendous day, great ballpark, and a special moment for sure. So the lineup Second flips over. Here. Tommy Edmond at the plate. The switch hitter batting right. That one pushed foul. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. Next offering is foul back. And he'll two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And fouled off. And here it comes. Right through there. Got him. Down on strikes. And he knew it. No, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes... As a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on some. Well struck left field. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. In safely with a double, his second of the day. One out, runner at second. Here's Paul Goldschmidt, another solid power season. And that's in there for strike one. Bounce to the left side. Throw over to Rio Muto. And they get Goldschmidt for the out. Now that is the left fielder. Tyler. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder oh, Tyler O'Neill. Next pitch downstairs. And that is ball one. He swings and fouls one off. Two outs. And one and two. Clearly all in on the fastball right there, but it was a changeup. Bottom just fell out of it. He's going to have to make an adjustment. The next offering misses. Ball two. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience. Not Swing and a miss, and he got him. 
And that's the third out. But not before five cross the plate. With the big blow being this three run homer. And the lead is now five nothing. And welcome back. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Kyle Schwarber. Flaherty back to work. Just missed. The wide to kick the pitch. Two balls, no strikes to count. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. And a big swing and a miss. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. And a swing and a miss. And one away. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Next pitch misses, and a count even one and one. Just off the inside edge. The pitch. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, that's a really good take right there, and that's yeah. just mentally prepared, knowing that if it's not on a tee, you're going to take that pitch because you still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. The baseball is coming out of his hand very well. He's been able to paint all four corners, but really good ride at the top of the zone. Hitters have to respect that. Very difficult pitch to hit. Going to count one and two. Hoskins leads off first with one away. The one two swag and a miss the velocity blasted it right the past him number 10 man at first JT. stepping in JT yeah. real muto <laughs> lifted in the air right center field and that one hops the wall throw cut off to third not in time. He's safe. And a run comes in to score. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Man, I love the hustle out of the box right there to make that triple happen. And just an absolute laser into the opposite field gap. He was digging hard the entire way. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. This is Bryson Stott. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And the 1 0. -oh. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. And there's the strike. Well, he came right at him right there, challenged him with the 2-0 fastball. Not sure exactly what he was looking for, but got to imagine that's a confidence booster on the mound. You're in that hitter's head a little bit.
Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. The batter number 22. Second baseman. David. Here's Fletcher. David Fletcher. Flied out to center in his first at bat. On the ground, right side. Backhand reach, but it gets by him. Picks himself up in RBI. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Now batting Jamer Candelario. That's towards center. Baez under it. Puts the squeeze on it. And that is that. We head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Cardinals five and the Phillies two. Bottom half gentlemen. of the third, and they Euro bring in a new pitcher, three. Kyle Gibson. And village. his job is to collect quick Number outs and keep his team within Kyle striking distance. Gibson. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. Leading up, Back here at the ballpark, ball. here's the third, the baseman, third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Nolan. And Arenado. the pitch. Arenado. Foul ball there. Goal in one now. There's a strike. And he hits a ground ball right side. Real Muto takes it himself. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. Here's Didi now. One for one with a double and a run score. First offering misses the mark. One down, base is empty. Good eye right there. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Next offering is foul back. Two-two down. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. Now batting. Right Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, battling with two strikes. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Next offering is in for a strike. Fouled off. He was late. Tap to first. And he picks it up in foul territory. The pitch. And that one lifted in the air center field. Base hit. The throw in. And he's safe. So it's first and third with one down. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep. And I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not. But off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop-out. And... It just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. One away, runners at first and third. Yadier Molina next up for the Cardinals. And yeah, the right-hander deals. Ground ball could be two. The throw to second. On to first, double play. And that's the inning. On to inning number four. It's the Cardinals five and the Phillies two. Back here in St. Louis, the out of the fourth, Garrett. here's the Phillies catcher, Stubbs. Garrett Stubbs. The right-hander back to work. 
in for a strike and it's 0 and 1. He needs a quick one two three this time around last inning through a lot of pitches. Next offering is in for a strike. 0 2 count both pitches on the inside part of the plate hitter is thinking I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off speed away. That one gets down for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. The center fielder, number 16, Mickey. Mickey Moniak stands in for the Phillies. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. First pitch, just misses. The 1 0. And that one fouled off. Rudder at first with no outs here. Next pitch misses way outside. Righty delivers. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Next pitch misses inside, and that's ball three. Kick, Sam Deals. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. For Philadelphia, the right fielder, Kyle. Now at the plate, Kyle Schwarber. There's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And a 1 0. And a strike. Stubbs, the lead runner out at second, Moniak. On at first with nobody out. The next pitch misses, and it's two and one. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. That one in for a strike, two and two. Tying run at the plate. That one misses, and now it's three and two. No outs, runners at first and second. And they're all loaded up. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. Now, Reese Hoskins. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. The opportunity for a huge inning exists right here. Bases loaded, nobody out. But as a hitter, can't be over anxious. That pitcher's up against the wall. Make him come to you. Squirts away a little bit. Nothing happening on the bases, though. Falling behind two and one. They need a strikeout, and you need a ball. Perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop up something, but you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. All loaded up, dangerous hitter at the plate. Got him swinging. And there's one down. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter he's prepared for it can get to it but that one just had that little jump at the end which indicates there's a good spin rate on it and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitters internal clock would expect it to and that's why you see the swing and miss next offering is in for a strike is there a little wrinkle to that I think there was yeah a little slider action that one's in there and the count is one and two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto.
And the first offering is not close. And a pitch. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. The 1-1. One, one. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Baez under it. Makes the grab. And that is that. Phillies leaving loaded. They trail at 5-2. Leading up. Bottom four. The Here's the center fielder, the Joshua field. Baez. Joshua Baez. And the right hater back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Right handed reliever. On the ground. Fletcher gloves it over to first. One up, one down. The second baseman, Tommy Edmund. And the batter now, Tommy Edmund. Towards first. Real Muto takes it to the bag. Already two gone here in the home four. Two outs, base is empty. Edmundo Sosa next up for the Cardinals. That one the other way. And a base hit. And that extends the inning. Now batting. First baseman. Paul. So two down. And now the first baseman. Paul Goldschmidt. In there and it's 0-1. And the 0-1. Where you want it's a good miss. Riding to the plate. Oh. Sosa leads off first with two down to the inning. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. And a ground ball to first. No throw. He's now safe at first. Tyler O'Neill, the next to hit. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. A one down. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0 2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone. Got him. And that will end the inning. So the cards strand a couple. They're still out in front, 5 2. New pitcher for the Cardinals, Dakota Hudson. Hasn't pitched in the last three days. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and we need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Sosa under this one. Puts the squeeze on that one. One up, one down. The batter number 22, second baseman, David Fletcher. And digging in for Philadelphia, David Fletcher, one for two. And a foul ball. The 0 1. They say you win. And down on strikes he goes. That's the second out. Now Two Third outs, base is empty. Jamer. And here is Jamer Candelario. He's 0 for 1. First pitch, and he just misses. Right-hander kicks, deals. And a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. And another ball. The wind of the pitch. And down on strikes. Third out. Three up. Leading off. Welcome Four back. Down the third baseman. Third Nolan baseman. Arenado. Nolan. Here comes the pitch. They tried to get him to chase on a slider 
down and away. And a pitch. In the air, left field. Castellanos settles underneath it. He's got it. And there's one now down. Man, the designated hitter, Didi. Didi Gregorius Gregoria. steps to the plate. There's a swing and a drive. Way back there. That one hops against the fence. Throws to second. It's a double. Third hit of the night for him. He has had such a good day today. I don't think he's going to want to leave when it's over. A couple of doubles now today for the DH. Right and stepping in for the Cardinals, Connor Capel. Next offering is down low. And that's ball one. Gregorius leads off second with one gone in the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. One and two now. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Next offering misses. The count now two and two. At the belt and fire. Stays alive. Left hand hitter waits. Hit hard. That gets through. Right past his coach, headed for the plate. Now a long throw home. Not in time. He's safe at the plate. And they lead by four. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. To me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed okay. disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. Now Molina at the plate. Swings through that one. 0-1. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. Strike in there. Throw to second, and he's out. Well, I really didn't expect him to try to steal second base because he had a very standard lead at best. If you're going to try to get there safely, you've got to get more on that lead. You've got to get a better jump. That was the difference between being safe and out. And one and two. Two strikes. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. One and two here. Stays alive. This one high in the air to left center. Castellanos ranging into the alley. And puts the squeeze on that one. And the inning is over. Five innings complete. It's the Cardinals six and the Phillies two. And welcome back. And now the catcher comes up to him. Garrett Stubbs. The pitch. That one off the mark. Ball one. Just missed. Next pitch is outside. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So that's a good take by him. There's a strike three and one. In for a strike. Now it's three and two. Kicks and fires. Fought off foul. They all pitch. Out towards right center field. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one down. Mickey Monia. We'll hit next. That one's in there, 0 and 1. The 0 1. Foul ball. 
Left hand batter waits. And there's a foul ball. And he deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And the pitch. Misses off the inside. One and two to count. The wind of the pitch. Stays alive. The wind to kick the pitch. Moniak checks his swing, appeal to third, got him. Rusty Valentine Kyle rings him up. Schwarber. Now it's the right fielder, Kyle Schwarber. And that one hammered. That's on its way. Gone! Kyle Schwarber goes deep. His 39th home run of the season. It's 6 3. Well, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. And now, Reese Hoskins. Reese Hoskins. First offering, and it just misses. The 1 0. No, that pitch not even close. A 2 0 count now. He can't be over aggressive. He's got to make sure that pitch is right on a tee for him. The wind to kick the 2 0. Movement in the bullpen. Jordan Hicks preparing to come on if needed. Cabrera, the lefty, warming up as well. And a four pitch walk. The left fielder, number eight, Nick Castellanos. Here's Nicholas Castellanos, one for three. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Hoskins, the runner at first with two gone. Can't find it here. That's six straight balls. The pitch. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. And the righty deals. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Hoskins around third. Edmund with a relay throw in there. He scores. And now just a two-run deficit. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. JT Real Muto steps in. First offering misses badly for ball one. Runner leads away at second. And it's one and one. That one missing inside. Two outs and one in scoring position. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two.
In the air, right field. Capel makes the catch, and that'll do it. 9 1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the six. It's the Cardinals six and the Phillies four. Connor Brogdon into the game. Now Hasn't pitched in a while. He's had the last five days off. Connor Brogdon. Leading off. So digging in, Joshua Baez. He's already homered here in this one. Next pitch downstairs. One and oh. Kicks and deals. Bounce to third. Reaches on the backhand, but it's through. And now it rolls all the way to the wall. Now back. Second baseman. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Nobody out. Runner at first. Next offering is foul back. Swing and a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. And now the shortstop, Edmundo Sosa. Now a screamer into the outfield. He's got it. And there's one away. The throw into second. Now batting. The first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. Paul Goldschmidt. Next up for the Cardinals. Good contact guy, good defender. In there for strike one. Power relievers one after another coming out of the bullpen these days. Got to be ready for that first pitch heater. And here it comes. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And the right hater deals. And that one fouled off. Man, he'd like to have that pitch back. The 0-2. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Really good take, especially with two strikes. In the air, out towards right center. Grabs it on the run. Two down. Now batting, left fielder, Tyler O'Neal. Now up the Cardinals' number four hitter, Tyler O'Neal. First offering misses the mark. One on count. Look for him to be aggressive here. He got some runners on base, an opportunity to catch a mistake and put some runs up on the board. First and second, two down. Next one misses, and it's two and one. On the ground to short. It's in and out of his glove. He decides to eat it, and the speedy runner is on at first. Well, he's been having a hard time just putting the ball and playing this one, so that should help soften the blow. Now a huge at-bat in this game coming up. Here's Nolan Arenado. First pitch, just misses. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Righty delivers. Out front and foul to the left side. And a one-two. Stays alive. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. Two outs. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. If you hit the ball that far, you know we're going to check the numbers. Let's go back to the nerd herd at StatCast. That was impressive. Yeah, wow. I mean, they don't hit them much farther than that, Boog. Everything's got to come together to hit a ball like that. And he really showed us something right now, there. Pat, the so two away with nobody on. Didi Gregorius at the play. First pitch, not close. Well, it's easy to be satisfied and get a little distracted after a grand slam, but there's still a lot of work in this inning to do, and you can really deliver a knockout blow. And the 
That one is absolutely belted. And that is gone. Didi Gregorius goes deep. It's his eighth home run of the year. And they tack one on the board. It's 11-4. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. Connor Capel next up for the Cardinals. That one misses in the dirt. The pitch. On the ground to third. Backhand reach, but it gets by him. The throw in. And he's got to double his fourth hit. Yadier Molina now at the plate. Molina. Slapped foul. The pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. And it gets by him. Throw to third, but he's in there. A run comes in on the play. Well done. Drives in the run. You know what they say. He couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that. And certainly the case that time. Just flared it back behind the second baseman and dropped it in there. Here's the new pitcher for the Phillies, Sam Kunra. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. Sam And the batter now, Joshua Baez. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Next offering is in for a strike. Right-handed reliever. This to third. Sends it across the first. Inning over. Although plenty of damage done. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's the shortstop. Bryson Stock. Stop. Hudson back to work. All one there. Right hander kicks deals. Check swing, but he went too far. That's strike one. Righty to the plate. In the air, right field. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Up next for Philadelphia, the second baseman, David. Now it's the second Fletcher. baseman, David Fletcher. And that one in the air, center field. Baez settles underneath it and makes the grab. Two down. Up next for Philadelphia, the third baseman. Jamer and here is Candelario. Jamer Candelario. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. To the right side. And that one finds its way through. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. The catcher. Well, the last Garrett. 10 games or so have been Stop. anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Two outs, runner at first. And here's the catcher, Garrett Stubbs. First pitch doesn't find the zone. At the belt and fires. Lifted in the air out to left. Base hit. So that's two straight, two out the hits. Fielder, number 16, Mickey Monia. So out of the pen comes the right hander, Jake now Woodford. And run. a healthy sized lead number for him 40, to go to work with. Jake Woodford. So two on with two away. Here's a speed threat, Mickey Monia. And Boog, I'd say he's due. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation. 
So maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Swings through that one for strike one. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Oh, right to the backstop. Throw, save. And both runners move up on the wild pitch. Candelario, the runner at third, Stokes. At second with two gone. Next offering way off the plate. Two on, two outs. Liner, base hit. In comes the run from third. 12-5 is our score. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And now for the Phillies, Kyle Schwarber. And first offering is fouled off. And the pitch. All one. Look out. One and one. Runners on first and third, two away. Swings and misses. And the count one and two. The pitch. Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. Gathers and throws to first. Inning over, and it could have been worse. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Cardinals 12 and the Phillies 5. Back here at Bush Stadium, set for the last half of the seventh. And here's the St. Louis leadoff man, Tommy Edmond. First offering in the dirt. And that's just foul. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One out. The batter. So up shot. next, Edmundo Sosa. Sosa. And he grounds one back up the middle. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Now batting. First baseman. Right there, he does a great oh. job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Paul Goldschmidt. Next up for the Cardinals. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. That one lifted to left. Castellanos on the move. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Just Up pulled off of it a little bit right there. No that left front field. shoulder coming open Tyler. instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. O'Neal at the plate with two away. Swings through that one. Into center and a base hit. Throw in holds now the lead it. runner at Third second. Baseman. Two on Nolan. now with two away. Arenado. Nolan Arenado getting ready to hit. He's already homered in this game. And that's in there for strike one. The pitch. And ball one. Sosa over at second. O'Neill at first. Two out of the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. So the card strand a couple as the lead holds at 12 to 5. Leading off Back here Phillies. in St. Louis, stepping in the long ball Reese. threat, Reese Hoskins. Oh. 
The right hander back to work. That just misses, and it's 1 0. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. The left fielder, number eight, Nick. So, Singy, let's dive into the numbers courtesy of StatCast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so that's flexing your muscles a little bit. And a pitch. Tapped out in front of the plate. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The next offering misses. Two and two. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. On the ground, a short could be two. Sosa over to second. On to Goldsmith. That's two. The first number 10, JT. So here's the cleanup hitter, JT Real Muto. Next offering is down low. Ball one. On the ground, out to short. On the run, throw to first. That's the third out. Welcome back. Out of the bottom of the eighth. So now here's the Cardinals' designated hitter, Didi Gregorius. A new pitcher in the game, Jose Alvarado. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. Alvarado. And a pitch. That's a strike. Strike one. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Stubbs settles under this one, puts it away for the out. The, the right fielder, Connor. Connor Capel, Capel. the next to hit. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Kicks and fires. That misses the zone. Two balls, no strikes. And he deals. Out to short. Stop. Over to pick it up. Whips it to first on the run. And a couple of quick outs. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's going to be Yadier Molina. First pitch, and he just misses. The lefty, the 1 0. -oh. A little bit low. And here it comes. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. Two outs. And he pumps it a strike. And now the lefty. Good eye right there. The pitch. And fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Rolled over to third. Candelario on the first. And that is the inning. One, two, three, go to Cardinals. As the lead holds at 12 to 5. Back here at the ballpark at the play. Bryson Stein. Woodford back to work. 
And the first pitch misses for ball one. Left hand hitter waits. Slow roller to third. Bare hand grab. Throw to first. In Up time. Down. Got him. The second base coach, David Fletcher. Here's the second baseman, David Fletcher. Little dribbler up along third. Arnato picks it up, and he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. Did a nice job getting there. Good throw, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw, you know? Yeah, no question. One down. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Jamer Candelario. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Lace down the line, base hit right field. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. Stubbs. Garrett Stubbs stands in for the Phillies. And the first offering is not close. Fletcher at third. Candelario over at second with one down. And a foul ball. And a 1-1. One -one. That one missed. When the skipper calls down to the bullpen, he's expecting the guy to come in and get outs. So far, not getting what he was hoping for. That misses. Three and one. And a pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Second and third here. One away. Oh, that ball got him pretty good out there on the mound. On the run, sends it over to first, and he's in there as a run scores. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Mickey Moniak. And he's already singled in this game. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Runners are at the corners, one away. Now a high fly ball out to left center. O'Neill in position. He's got it, and there's two away. The right fielder, number 12. Kyle Schwarber. So the Philly batting order turns over. Kyle Schwarber digs in now. That one fouled off. Here's your one. Corners are occupied with two down. Ground ball left side. Arenado picks it up and that'll do it. Key to this game was that huge sixth inning. They jumped all over the opposing pitching and it was like they knew what was coming. And that kind of confidence just takes a team to the finish line. And that's what they did. They got the win in this game. And a final score of 12 6 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Shopley saying so long. I can some comfortably say that our pitching failed us today. Um, and we didn't have as many clutch at bats as we normally would. So it's kind of disappointing. Um, but it's basically part of the game. 
So you, you, have, you win, you win a lot, you lose a, you lose a lot. It happens. Uh, so until next time, this is David B. Sixty Nine, and I'm out. Have a great day, everybody. Time of the ball game: three hours and fifty-five minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon, and we remind you to please drive home safely.